but the, these first lot will, because it'll probably take me a while to figure out how much the postage would be. Um, so this first lot, at least, will go um, to Australians only, I think. As you probably are aware, um, and I wasn't going to say anything, but um, a couple of people have had a go at me on um, on their YouTube channels. Uh, I made a mistake. It was a mistake. It wasn't something I did on purpose. Um, that I said incorrect things on one of my videos. Um, I apologised for that. I know that hasn't gone up on um, YouTube as yet. It was one of the ones that I was making for when I was away. Um, and also, it's on the first one. For actually, the first one... Um, On the first recorded drill with me that I uploaded after I made the mistake and the mistake was pointed out to me, um, the first one I uploaded since then, it was on that one. And there's somebody else that's had a go as well. I made a mistake. I admitted to my mistake straight away as soon as she told me about it. Um, I apologised to her. I have now apologised to DAC and her. Um, why other people have to stick their nose in, I have no idea. Um, but if anybody else wants to have a go, have a go at me. Not in public, it's not the nicest thing to do. Have a go at somebody in public like that. Um, I did it, yes, I know I did. But I did it. It was a mistake. Theirs isn't a mistake. The other people that have had a go at me on YouTube haven't been a mistake. They planned it and they did it. One person for over an hour kept going on and on about it. And another person for a few minutes. And another person for about five or ten minutes. So, you know, enough's enough. Um, anyway, we'll move on from that. Um, I am going on holiday soon. That's why I'm making the extra um, videos lately. So I can um, put them up when I'm away. Going to the beach for a while, so that'll be good. Um... Are we pleased to get away for a, a little while? Hope things have warmed up for you in the States. Um, it's pretty warm here today. It's been pretty hot. I know it's cold over in the States and the UK and Ireland and wherever else people are from. Um, It'll be cold for us soon too. It's <laughs> the problem. When you're hot, we're cold. And when we're cold, you're hot. So, it's just the way it goes. This one started a bit and I will start my drill with me. I can't remember where we left off. Uh, I 
think. Um, what was your favourite worst subject in high school? Um, probably English because I was dyslexic. Um, I didn't. Um, well, I couldn't read, so English was tough. When I when I found out what my problem was, am I doing the right colour? Twenty two p. Yeah. When I found out what my issue was with reading, um, you couldn't stop me. I did law. Um, I've done accounting. I've done project management. Um, I've done three lots of project management actually. Um, so when, mm, excuse me, when I was about 23, um, I think it was around 23, 23 or 25 or something, there was something on one of our current affairs shows that um, uh, they were talking about dyslexia and um, and what they were describing was how I saw letters um, so I went to the place they were talking about on a current affair and um, yep sure enough that was my issue um, and when that issue was fixed or controlled it's never um, totally fixed you just control it um, by learning relearning how to read with the well with my my issue it takes you know a second or two once you focus on a on a page of writing for the letters to settle down somewhat and some of the letters were mixed around like um, P's and Q's and B's and D's and uh, E's were around the wrong way things like that um, M's and W's that's why I had the issue but once once I I had to reteach myself how to read um, so that when I looked at a page I still see it the way I see it but I read it the way you read it or anybody without dyslexia reads it so that took a while to do and then it was straight to hit the books I love to read now never without a book um, sitting in the train and you know to and from work if I haven't got my iPad with um, downloads from the um, diamond painting community um, I'm reading a book At the moment I'm a few weeks behind on the um, on watching the YouTubes because I was ill and I couldn't watch it for for a while and I haven't been able to catch up since um, so I think I've got 35 or something like that videos to watch on my iPad and that's always handy to have too when I'm um, you know waiting in a queue or something like that I my iPads um, small enough to fit in my handbag so I just put the earphones in and have a listen and a watch um, if I'm waiting at the doctors or something like that I can just um, put one ear in then so I can hear my name being called <laughs> and um, and listen so I'm slowly catching up that's why I only saw the second person's um, I was sorry the third person's video today that had a go at me wasn't a very long go at me but you know especially after the video I did about it the other day which I thought was pretty good and you know it comes back with that but anyway not to worry 
we'll get over it just a bit cranky because it was only about a half an hour when I saw it half an hour ago that I saw it so a little bit cranky but other than that I'm fine any more nines oh yeah there's some up there and I think that's why I turned to crafting because I've been crafting for a lot of years because I couldn't read um been crafting since I was about 19 and um and when I first left school I know you can't tell by the way my hair is now <coughs> but um I was a hairdresser because I couldn't read I couldn't do anything else uh, I took up hairdressing did my apprenticeship handy 23 I nearly poured more colors in there or 22 22 nearly poured more colors because I was thinking about things What's my favourite drink? Love Coca-Cola. Can't drink it because I'm a diabetic. Um, so that's the end of that. <laughs> um, your favourite animal? Dog, probably love dogs just can't have many in it or I I don't feel like I can we're not allowed to here so uh, perfume hmm I just wear perfume that I'm given <laughs> so I wouldn't have a clue um, what have I got? I've got Chanel number five and I've got three or four others that I wear on a rotation basis that I like the smell of them so I use them or I bought them or they've been given to me as gifts so um, I like flowery sweet smelling perfumes so What would you or have you named your children? Yes, I have one daughter and she's 24 and her name is Rebecca. I couldn't have children. Um, Rebecca is adopted, that's why we only have the, we only have the one. It's difficult adopting here in Australia. Uh, there's not many children. Um, around what am I doing I have no idea number three is number two yeah that's right uh, yeah there's not many children up for adoption um, in Australia we were looking at overseas but um, my ex's parents were 
extremely racist. They were a lot older than my parents. Um, not not that that should make any difference, but they were country, lived in the country. Uh, they were tobacco farmers, pretty isolated. Um, so we were looking at overseas adoption to start with. Um, but as I said, my ex's parents were very racist. So it used to make me quite angry at times, but go for a walk and take deep breaths and calm down. And <laughs> Country folk over here were um, they didn't see many people from other countries so they didn't understand them they didn't I don't know I'm trying to make excuses for them well I probably am but because they were nice people other than that um, yeah What sports do you play, have you played? Um, I think I answered this a couple of nights ago, but tennis, swimming, I uh, even played softball for a while. Um, I played competitive tennis. Um, There were different grades in the tennis I played. A, B, C, Z, D? I can't remember. But then it went like A1, A2, A3, A4, up to A10. Then it went down to B. And I played A1 junior branch, which was for juniors, um, which was the top grade you could play. Um, and I played A grade seniors, I can't remember, I think it was A2, I don't think I ever got up to A1, um, but I was only a junior at the time, so I thought that was pretty good. Um, who were some of your favourite YouTubers? Uh, gone off your meds, Wendy. Um, Rachel Ray, um, Mrs. Coffee, um, Redneck Beauty, um, Fruitini, um, there's really too many to name. <laughs> um, they're the, they're the main ones I watch because they're the um, people I subscribe to that put out the most um, videos. Um, I can't think of anybody else offhand. Oh, Elder, of course. Kicking Cancer's butt. She was the first one I found. Um, Ella's a great is gr and Mrs. Coffee, they're both I they're totally different personalities, I think. Um, but they both make me laugh. So. It's funny how totally different personalities um, make you laugh, but they do.
Um, who else would they be? Oh, Jennifer Jones, Jennifer Roberts. Diamond in the Rough. Um, it's hard to remember everyone off the top of my head. think of anybody right now probably when um, I turn this video off I'll remember another half a dozen I seem to be downloading um, videos all the time from the diamond painting community don't get me wrong I enjoy them otherwise I wouldn't download them um, some videos I wish I hadn't downloaded but anyway boyfriends, girlfriends have you had? Oh god. I have quite a few male friends, friends only. Um, I think when I was on IVF I found it very difficult um, because that was the time when all my friends and family members, cousins and all that sort of thing were having babies and that's all they used to talk about and I used to gravitate you know at barbecues and family do's and stuff I used to gravitate to the men um, because I found it really difficult um, talking to people who that's all they talked about was babies and how far along they were and how pregnant they were um, and how the births went and I was on IVF <coughs> probably most of that time and I found it very difficult so I used to go and talk to the men who didn't talk about babies and pregnancies and all that sort of thing My daughter's cat wants to come in, if you can hear it. Um, sorry, I just went into a zone and I didn't. Um, favourite memory from childhood. Hmm. As I've said before, I don't have mem very many memories of childhood. Um, after a car accident I had.
I don't know whether my childhood memories are memories or what people have told me. But I do know um, there was a girl that I went to school with who was no relation to mine at all. And we look in kindergarten and first class, we looked identical. Our parents or our mothers couldn't tell us apart. So we used to play jokes on them that Donna was her name, or is her name. Um, Mum had come to pick me up. It was very rare she did that because um, we used to always walk home from school. But for, but for some reason, every now and then, she'd pick us up. Um, she'd actually had Donna in the car to go home, and it was it was um, thinking it was me. <laughs> And it weren't me, it was Donna. So Donna went home to my place and I walked home. It wasn't until they got home, Mum had realised what had happened, so. So I just... We walked home and had a big laugh and met them there. How would you describe your fashion sense? Comfortable. If it's comfortable, I like it and I wear it. Not comfortable, no. Uh, Jay. Monty, be quiet please. instant for a second oh dear <laughs> been a long day today number seven Oh dear, every time I come on here I start yawning, I must be doing a Jennifer. Um, I think it's Jennifer that does that. What phone do you have? I have an iOS. Tell us one of your bad habits, chocolate. <laughs> I wish I could give up chocolate. I'm a diabetic so I shouldn't eat it and I don't eat it much. Um, I still crave it, still want it, especially as comfort food. When I need it for comfort food, it's really hard to say no. <laughs> That's when I, if I have to, if, if I really crave it, I either have a shower or I make a YouTube video. Then my craving's gone. G.O.G. I don't feel that tired. I'm just yawning. I mustn't be sitting properly. I must be slouching. So I'm not getting enough air in my lungs. Maybe. Mm, 
curly whirly. 27. I quite like this diamond painting pen. Three things that upset you. Not much upsets me, except my depression. Um, I was bullied at school quite a bit, so um, people saying things about me or to me doesn't really um, worry me too much. If they don't like me, well, that's their problem. Um, I don't know what upsets me. Being physically abused upsets me and emotionally abused upsets me, which is what I had in, in past relationships. Um, I don't know, not much upsets me really. I'm pretty thick skinned. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. Um, three things that make you happy not having to go to work um, looking forward to living alone that makes me happy um, Being with friends and family makes me happy. So that's three. My, how is my relationship my, with my parents? Um, my relationship with my parents is fine. They're getting um, older. I do get along better with um, my dad than my mum. People say my mum and I are just too much alike, so we clash at times. But I'm the type of person, if um, mum says something or does something, um, I might get frustrated at the time. But, you know, I get over it in 10 or 15 minutes. If she leaves me alone, if she doesn't leave me alone, I walk away. Um, what's on your mind at the moment? Thinking about, in the back of my mind, thinking about going on holidays and where I'm going to go and what I'm going to see. And diamond painting. All sorts of things. I have a million things going on in my head at one time.
What's your talent? Hmm. Can I be like Sandra Bullock and play the glass? <laughs> that was a good movie. Um, or play the glasses. Um, I don't know what my talent would be. One word that describes you, loyal. Um, if I've known you for some time and Loyalty is very important to me, loyalty and trust. Um, if you can't trust your friends or your partners, you've got nobody you can trust. I did this one before. What's your favourite quote? If you love something, set them free. If they come back, they're yours. If they don't, they never were. Just find that pretty good. Um, are you an extrovert or an introvert? Depends on the situation with me and depends on where I am bit of an extrovert um, after I've known you for a long time um, I'm not very outspoken or I'm pretty quiet shy introvert when I meet people um, for the first time and for a little while after that until I get to know you and then watch out but um, a little bit a little bit of an intro extrovert um, making videos although I do watch what I say at times um, except for when I'm really frustrated I shouldn't make videos when I'm frustrated But I'm sure there's a lot of people like that. I don't like to um, butt into other people's business either. Like um, if somebody's having, except when I'm asked to. If I'm asked to, I definitely will. And it's something that affects me, I definitely will. Um, But I won't butt into other people's business. Um, or say anything to someone about somebody else's business unless I've been asked to. I can keep things under my hat quite a bit if I'm asked to. I'm asked to not, you know, keep things in confidence. It's kept in confidence. Um, Are you left or right-handed? I'm right-handed. 
do you consider yourself a good cook yes I do um, does your name have any special meaning not as far as I'm aware where if money were no object what would you get for your next birthday everything that's in my um, card in AliExpress <laughs> that's terrible isn't it I've got a hundred things in my card in America in um, AliExpress and a couple more Diamond Art Club that I wouldn't mind getting. Some of the paintings in um, Diamond Art Club aren't to my taste, but having said that, there's a lot in AliExpress that I don't like as well. Um, everybody has to, has different tastes and they must cater for a wide variety of tastes otherwise they would certainly go out of business If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I think Australia. Um, people's, people's values and that sort of thing are so different from one country to another. That um, I think it would be different and different customs and things like that. I think um, it would be difficult to live in a country where you weren't born and weren't raised. I don't know, but that's just because I've never done it. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to say, but I think that would be difficult. I, I love Australia. I love the diversity of Australia. Um, like, you could have snow in one area and a heat wave in another area of Australia, and and um, a cold snap in another part, all on the same day. So, <laughs> Australia can be very different. What's your favourite gadget? I'd have to say my phone, probably. Anyway, sounds like people are coming into the house, so have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.